If all goes to plan, the Swiss Solar Impulse 2 will finish its tour by August this year. But during this time, what will the pilots eat? How will they sleep and fly at the same time? And how will they go to the toilet? Swiss TV journalist Michael Weinmann met Bertrand Picard at the start camp in Abu Dhabi shortly before takeoff. The food is in this box here. The toilet is there. You can open this up and the toilet's underneath. There are water reserves. And if you want to sleep, you can do this. Is it comfortable? Is this bequem? Yeah. It is comfortable as long as the autopilot is switched on. When it's not on, you have to fly the plane manually and you can't sleep. So we really focused on building a good autopilot. You actually sleep during the flight. How do you do that? I can imagine you might feel uneasy letting the plane fly itself while you take a nap. Yes, this would normally be the case. I use self-hypnosis techniques, so I can distance myself from the stress of the flight and withdraw into myself a little. Self-hypnosis is a very good tool for this. Life on board the solar impulse would be pretty tough without decent food. And this is what the food looks like. In the large packet is potato gratin, in the small one carrot soup. It looks a bit like astronaut food, but it can all be warmed up. At the end of the day, the two pilots won't want for anything on their journey.